400 free. And the final. A lot of different names that we've seen for a while in the terms of veterans. Jeremy Bagshaw, the fastest seed in lane number four, is 29 years of age. He's currently actually taking a bit of time off from studying medicine over in Ireland. So we've got a, a very experienced field, along with a couple of youngsters. Alex Pratt, who's a twin. He's in lane number nine, originally out of Calgary, now trains in Vancouver. Patrick Hussey, we just saw his sister in the race before this. He's 20 years of age out of Beaconsfield outside of Montreal. Tristan Cote in lane number seven, originally out of Etobicoke, outside Toronto, now at the University of Calgary. He injured his leg right before the 2016 trials, wasn't able to make the team there when he was favored to, so he's hung on for five more years. Alex Axon, the youngster at 18 years of age, provincial standout in Ontario. Peter Brothers, 24 years of age, finished second in both his 400 and 1500 meter free by a pretty small margin, just missing the Rio Olympics five years ago. Jeremy Bagshaw, there's the veteran, 29 years of age, born in Singapore, moved to Canada as a child, speaks three languages, very experienced veteran. From Quebec City, Nathan Bodan Bullock. He also competes in the open water 10 kilometer races. Michael McGillivray from Regina owner of 16 provincial records. He's 18 years of age in lane number two. Lane number one, Sebastian Paulins, a standout swimmer from the University of Western Ontario under coach Paul Midgley, a swimming family. His mom, Suzanne, is actually one of the people that helped organize this entire Olympic trials. He's originally out of London, Ontario. Stanford Lee, youngster, 18 years of age. Point Claire Swim Club produces a lot of very good swimmers. They're a suburb on the West Island of Montreal. So the 10 racers ready to go for the men's 400 meter free. The Canadian record in this event held by Ryan Cochran at 3.43.46 in Glasgow back in 2014. Byron, we do not expect that to be in danger tonight. No, we certainly don't. Ryan Cochran, one of the great distance swimmers of all time in the world, let alone just Canada. And he does have the Canadian record. And he went to Rio. He was the winner of the Olympic trials. The defending Olympic champion from Australia, Mac Horton, did not qualify to represent Australia in this event at their trials last week. Take your marks. Men's 400 free, eight lengths of the pool. Jeremy Bagshaw is in lane four, the med student who is uh, back. He was at the Rio Olympic Trials, finished third in this event. Peter Brothers is in the other yellow lane, lane five, the 24-year-old who just missed Rio. Eight laps of the pool. These guys have been racing each other, especially the two in the middle there, the veterans. They've been racing each other for about eight years. So they, they're very familiar with the strategy, what they're trying to do. It's an interesting race here, Rob, for the simple reason that Jeremy hasn't been down near that cutoff time in, in quite a while. So these swimmers kind of know they're probably not getting the Olympic qualifying time. They're here to do a great job and finish their careers off with a really, really good effort here. Kind of like we just saw Allison Ackman get up and do a great race even though they're not necessarily going to get that Olympic qualifying time. It'll be Bagshaw, and the 100-meter split is 54-69. He's just ahead of Peter Brothers. Jeremy won a bronze medal in this very pool in 2015 at the Pan Am Games on a member of Canada's 4x200 freestyle relay. So he's very familiar with his pool. We should mention that a bunch of the Vancouver swimmers, because of pool issues, had to move to Toronto over a month ago and have been here living out of hotels in the residence at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus where this pool is located. So lots of things have happened because of pandemics and other complications for these swimmers. So many of them were locked out of their pools. They had to do dry land training. Some of them hooked up tethers in backyard swimming pools. It's, it's been a challenge throughout this entire six, past 16, 17 months, but a lot of them have come out even better for it. Byron, would you say it's been a slight more of a, a bit more of a challenge for the longer distance swimmers than the sprinters? Absolutely. You can obviously gain more strength in the sprint races where it's important, but that aerobic condition is so critical for the longer races, and I would expect some of them to be a little bit off that point. Right now, it is Jeremy Bagshaw leading in lane four. Peter Brothers on his left shoulder in lane five. And then it looks like lane six, Alexander Axon is in third, followed by Nathan Bodin-Bolduc. 
That's very good for young Alex Axon in lane number in, in, in third spot at this particular race, lane number six. He's a young up and comer, only 18 years of age. I mean, he's 11 years younger than Bagshaw. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot in a race like this. So nice move by Brothers off that 250 meter turn. Notice the leg kick. He's starting to pick up the leg kick. The power at the end there. Bagshaw isn't quite able to keep it up, keep up with the turnover. Notice the arm turnover. Brothers putting on a brilliant move at this position in the race. So Peter Brothers goes to the lead as we approach the halfway point of this men's 400 meter free final. Let's see what he's going to hit the clock at. 250.45 for Brothers. Nice acceleration away. I mean, look at the separation. There's only two swimmers that are really in this race. The battle for third. There you got the young Alex Axon, although he is getting pressured a little bit by Tristan Cote, the veteran that's trying to come back on him to get in third spot and at least get a medal out of these trials. But there you got the two that are out in front. They've only got 50, 60 meters to go in this eight lap, 400 meter race. It is the final lap. Peter Brothers, less than 50 meters. The A standard for the Olympics, 346.78. He's right on track to do his best time for sure. He looks brilliant at this point. He's really had a good race, made that great move on bad shot. Gonna come in, might not quite get to that Olympic standard, but he's certainly gonna have the best time. 351.26 is his personal best. Peter Brothers, again, he's trying to get under that. 346.78, he's not quite gonna get it, but it is a personal best for Peter Brothers, followed by Jeremy Bagshaw in second place, and Alexander Axon in third. I would like to mention, this is what's called a time final. You don't normally don't have those kind of things in an Olympic trials. You usually have prelims and finals, but because of the problems with COVID and the people and the number of people in the pool, they actually had to split the, the 400 freestyle into a morning session and an afternoon evening session. And the times in the morning actually count. If someone would have done a faster time, they would have gotten credit for the win or even an Olympic qualifying time. Eric Brown this morning from Point Claire did a time that would be right on what Alex Axon did. They would have had a great battle for third spot, so he will be known that he will be a third or fourth place, place finisher in this race, even though he didn't compete in this final race at night. Here's where we're talking about the move at the 250 meter mark. Peter Brothers comes off that wall, just gunning to pull out ahead and really picked up his cadence at that particular point in the race. Now he's got 100 meters to go. That last 50 pulled a, ahead of Jeremy Bagshaw, and then it was really basically just Brothers against the time, against the clock, to see if he could get that standard. Now he's only got 50 meters to go. Still even streamlined. You notice that in the distance freestyle races, they only do one or two kicks off the walls, as opposed to the sprints we saw earlier. They might do eight or nine. It's just so demanding on the oxygen, they like to come up a little bit sooner. Head down, all the way to the wall. Reach out there and touch. Good swim by both boys. There's Young Axon coming in in third spot in this race. So Axon's personal best was 359.62, Byron, and he took about six seconds off of that, so that's huge. Peter Brothers with a personal best of almost two seconds is the Canadian Trials champion, just ahead of Bagshaw and Axon. So a strong showing, uh, just shy of the Olympic A standard for Peter Brothers, the 24-year-old veteran of the Canadian team. Just waiting for him to make his way to the microphone. Putting his medal there. There he is. And Devin standing by now with uh, the winner, Peter Brothers. Thank you, Rob. You can imagine these swimmers are exhausted. Uh, Peter, a personal best. Just shy of that Olympic ace uh, time, but what went right for you today? Uh, I think for that being the first race of in a long time, I can't be too upset with that. Uh, best time is the best time at this point, and I would have liked to have been a couple seconds faster, but yeah, you know, it's been ups and downs all year, but I'll absolutely take that for today. We've been talking so much about that, about coming into these trials, having to navigate all of this. How did you approach this mentally, physically? Uh, it's been a challenge, no doubt. Yeah, physically, I just did everything I needed to do in workout every day. And I knew coming into the last like three weeks that the work had been done. And it was just about getting my mental state in the right spot. So 
Uh, it's a really good start to the meet for me, and I'm looking forward to my other races. No question. Take a look at the big screen. You've got your supporters there. Who are, who are you waving at right now, and what do they mean to you, Peter? Uh, those are my parents, and I would not be here without them. Oh, my God. They've done that, literally everything for me, and without their support, I, I wouldn't be standing here at all. So I can't really, I can't thank them enough, and yeah, it, it means everything to me. And we'll go to them right now. Mom and Dad, it looks like there's some emotion, high emotion. I know you would have loved to have been here in the stands, but is it this a reality of a pandemic, watching things on a screen? What does this moment mean to you, watching your son compete here at these trials and, and putting forward a personal best? Well, it's been, well, a, it's been, been a, a, a tough, tough year tough. for them all, and I think particularly for the distance and middle distance swimmers without the consistency that they've needed and... So we're super proud of you, Peter, and that was a great race, and it's all we can ask for. Good job, kid. <laughs> and, and how about for you, Mom? I see that smile lighting up this facility here right now on the big screen. Uh, some thoughts from you. Oh, we've just been watching him swim since he was, you know, seven, eight years old. So this is just such a nice thing to see for him. Peter, um, it's taken a lot, you, the support of your parents, coaches, officials, all of this to get to this point when you reflect on it in this moment. What's the significance of that? Yeah, I mean, like, we really had to find a whole nother reason to continue with the sport during all of this. And yeah, without the support of my family and friends and teammates, coaches, everybody here who's helping run the meet and all the people who have dealt with the government, guidelines and stuff so it's a it's an amazing team effort and yeah that swim doesn't just fall on my success I mean it's just shows how much of a support I've had over the last year and a half and I uh, can't be grateful enough you provide a great perspective Peter I have one last question Marcus talked about feeling the nerves again he had forgotten what it was like to feel that is there a little bit of relief to get this first race out of the way oh yeah totally and like for me not having a prelim changes changed a lot because you can kind of get that nerves over with in the morning and you feel a little bit more loose but I just try to relax as much as I could before the race tonight and seemed to work out so one down peter and a gold medal around your neck to yeah. show for it well done congratulations thanks thanks a lot all right rob byron that